Hi, I'm Song Park from SEAT, and I'll present our paper, Temporal Interpolation is All You Need for a Dynamic Neural Radiance Field. In this paper, we tackle the problem of neural radiance fields for dynamic scenes. Given the input image sequence, we train dynamic nerve models which can perform space-time biosynthesis. The key idea of our method is to apply temporal interpolation for feature extraction. The feature vector of the target frame is calculated by a linear interpolation along the time axis. We propose two different feature representations, neural and grid. In the neural representation, the static and dynamic feature vectors are extracted using multilayer perceptrons, which enables high-quality dynamic nerve with compact models. For the grid representation, static and dynamic features are extracted from 3D and 4D hash grids respectively, which allows for dynamic nerve training in just a few minutes. Please visit our project page and post your session at the conference. Now, let's get into the details about our work. Retrieving 3D structures of dynamic scenes from a video is inherently an under-constrained problem. To resolve the ambiguity, recent dynamic nerve methods focused on finding correspondences of 3D points and shapes across the frames. Neural scene from fields estimates 3D point correspondences between adjacent frames. Methods such as denerve, nerfies, hypernerve, and non nerve tries to estimate 3D warping functions between the canonical shape and target shapes. Dynerve only used neural networks to learn dynamic structures, but it was only targeted for multi-view videos. In this work, we are focusing on how to learn meaningful and discriminative features from dynamic scenes while keeping the model structure as simple as possible. To this end, our model does not contain 3D scene flow estimation modules or warping estimation modules. Instead, we relate multiple frames by linearly interpolating two adjacent features and adding a simple smoothness term. Now let's dive deeper into our method. Our model consists of dynamic and static feature extractors and template nerve modules. 3D position X and time T or isolated vector ZT are fed to the dynamic feature extractor while only 3D position X is used as an input to the static feature extractor. The extracted features and midrash information are then fed to the template nerve that outputs RGB color C and volume density sigma. As already mentioned, we propose two different feature representations depending on the model structure. First, we will explain how the neural representation features are extracted. Here, we assume that two-level structure where number of MLPs for each level is 5 and 8 respectively. Input sequence has nf time frames. For the first level, the whole time frame is divided into four slots and each MLP is placed to be responsible for two adjacent time slots. The input frame T is placed between the two MLPs, phi 1, 2, and phi 1, 3. In this case, the input position X and time T are fed to the two MLPs. Then, the output feature vectors are linearly interpolated, weighted by distance between T and the location of each MLP to have interpolated feature vector. Level 2, which has different number of MLPs, works similarly to output the interpolated features. Finally, those dynamic features are concatenated together with static feature vectors. On the other hand, for the grid representation, we adopted the feature extraction method from Instant NGP. It has multi-resolution 3D grids and each grid point contains a feature vector which can be retrieved via hash function. Our feature hash table is divided into two parts, for static features and for dynamic features. For the static features, given the 3D query point X, the features of adjacent 8 grid points are retrieved through 3D hash functions, and the feature vector is calculated by trilinear interpolation, which is the same as instant NGP. Similarly, given the 4D query point X and T, the adjacent 16 grid points are selected and quadrilinear interpolation is performed to extract dynamic features. Here we illustrated only a single level, but the final feature vector is the concatenation of features from all levels. As a regularizer, we introduce a simple smoothness term which relates 3D points in adjacent frames. 
The Sumatins term is basically an alto norm of the difference between the dynamic feature vectors at time t and t plus 1. The term is especially useful when some 3D points are partially visible in the whole sequence. As you can see, the boundaries of the rendered images show more clear results when the smoothness term is applied. Note that we applied it to the feature space rather than applying it directly to a 3D space. These treated features are fed to the template nerve to estimate RGB color and volume density. Please refer to the paper and supplementary materials for detailed explanation about the network architecture. In consequence, our loss function consists of RGB loss and smoothness term. Now we will show the experimental results. First, we will show the results of the neural representation on the DNRF dataset. Our method achieved state-of-the-art results on all metrics. Also note that the use of smoothness term significantly improves the rendering quality. Our method also achieved competitive performance on HyperNerf and DynRF datasets. It is worth noting that our method also works well on the interpolation task. Here are some qualitative results of our neural representation models. Our method estimates correct depth and RGB information on challenging scenes containing topology variations or torch flames. Next, we demonstrate the results of our grid representation. Here, we compare the training results on the DNRF dataset with recently proposed fast training dynamic nerve methods. Our method shows competitive performance for only 5 minutes of training. Compared to the TinyoVox X models, when trained for the same period, period of time, our grid representation shows much clearer results. In conclusion, we propose a simple yet effective feature representation method for dynamic nerve. While the neural representation model shows high-quality rendering results owing to the representation power of neural networks, it requires hours of training. On the other hand, the grid representation is able to render dynamic scenes in less than a second after a few minutes of training, which makes it more practical for real-world applications. Thanks for watching. Please visit our project page for more results.